Good morning. Welcome to Excelling God's Arm. I pray that all is well with everyone who is live or who is joining in after this message. I pray that all is well. I pray for, let us all continue to pray for Hurricane out there in um, Florida for the people to keep them safe, to keep them warm, to keep them with shelter, to keep them with electricity, keep them with food, keep them with water, to keep their energy up, to keep their vitamins in their body, keep their minds alert and on on God and to be able to see themselves through this storm that they're going through, Father God. I pray for the help that is coming out there to help them, Lord Jesus. Please, please, I ask you all to continue to pray for Florida and all other places that are going through. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Yes, we may think we're going through things, and when we look at other people, what they're going through, let's forget about self and pray for other people who are way worse than we are going through. Okay, open up your hearts to other people. I'm sharing my book once again. Devotional, be still and know. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. That is coming from the book, Psalm 46, chapter 46, verse 10. The title for today, Power to Transform, Power to Transform. We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. That is coming from the book, Romans chapter 3, verse 22. God has the power to transform anything. We may think that a person or situation is completely beyond redemption. But God can replace even the most impossible of hearts and circumstances. We may have lost faith in believing for something, but God never does because he knows what he is capable of. God who has the power to speak the universe into existence, can certainly intervene in a situation and have his way in it. God, who commanded the dead to walk out of a tomb, can surely soften the heart of even the most hearted soul. Thank you, God that you offer redemption for my heart, my life, and my circumstances. Help me to trust you fully in the redemption process so that I can even enjoy the benefit of a life that has been changed by you. We will not give up on ourselves. We will not give up on other people. It is so many people out here in this world that has a hard heart, but we all know them knees going to hit that flow one day in their lives to give their life back to God. No, God does not force himself on no one, but he do give us choices and praying and prayers and praying for other people. We don't have to talk about them. We can just continue to stand firm and have faith in our prayers that they will have a change of heart. They will want to change in their lives. They will want to change for the better. They will want to do what is it is called for them to do on this earth. So let us all continue to pray for all, even if you feel that it will never be a change for that person or people. We will continue to pray for them because we don't know the plans of their lives. Only God knows. So let's keep our mouths off of people and let us continue to pray for people and hoping to see the better in their lives. In Jesus' name, yes. I thank you guys for joining on today. I pray that you guys have an awesome weekend. 
As I stated earlier in this message, please continue to pray for Florida. I know some folks that's trying to get back home that has to cross that path and they are not able to due to what's going on out there in Florida. So let's just stand firm, continue to pray in God. When you pray, we believe, we do not fret, doubt. We just continue to pray and believe and hope to see a better day. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Excel in God's arms.